let me prove here that why we take 2 theta in XRD graph in XRD pattern with the help of theta versus theta scan in this machine here we basically use this arrangement we know in XRD analysis we have three things very important one is the sample one is the detector another is the x-ray tube we have to move we have to rotate two things in one time in previous setup like in theta versus two theta setup we just keep the x-ray tube constant stationary and we rotate the sample and we rotate the detector but in this case here we just keep the sample text so once we keep the sample fixed, we have to rotate the x-ray, we have to rotate the detector and it is quite difficult to rotate the x-ray tube. This is why this is not common setup. It is very difficult to rotate the x-ray tube. But let's see, uh, this is one kind of arrangement here. So the x-ray tube is rotating with theta per minute. Similarly, the detector is also rotating theta per minute. Let's suppose, this is basically the incident angle. The x-ray source making angle with the uh, not the sample surface but with the atomic planes that is basically the incident angle and this is basically the reflected angle from the same planes reflected angle and the 2 theta is basically according to Bragg's law it is the angle between the transmitted x-ray and the reflected x-ray and it is almost double if this is this is this is 5 degree so this 2 theta is 10 degree you see here now let's see we just start from uh, this is this is basically the uh, incident angle. We start from five uh, degree, right? So when this X-ray tube is basically moving here, moving, moving, when it reach here, so when it reach here, so this incident angle is almost 90, 85, 90. So the transmitted ray will move in this direction here, and the detector is also moving with the same rate, so it will also reach here. Detector, detector will also reach here. So this means that. Now the detector is here, so the part of the detector, this whole area is basically now uh, the diffraction angle of 2 theta, and it is almost 180 here, 180. This is why in most cases, basically, we just, you, we see that the, the, the angle is basically 180. It starts from 10 to 180, 2, 2, 2 theta. This is how uh, we take the 2 theta uh, angle in X-ray analysis. Now let me show you here in the next image that, uh, yeah, this is the next image here. This is this is this is the next image here you see here so when the x-ray tube uh, reach here so this is the angle now this theta is now almost maybe 85 uh, degrees somehow so the detector is also reach here now the x-ray is transmitting this way and this hole is now the two theta here two theta and this two theta is now somehow 180 or less than 180. this is why we see here the the x-ray graph mostly in 180 from 10 to 180 but in, the, the, in another case from the with, with t theta to 2 theta uh, that is basically uh, from 10 to 80 80 degree right this is why we use 2 theta angle in xrd analysis